Hey guys, I just wanted to tell you about a contest we are running on Gleam. Two of you are going to be able to win $50 coupon code for PuzzleMaster.ca. You can enter through YouTube and Facebook. To enter the contest, check out the links in the description below. The draw will be done June 8th, so make sure you get in as many entries as you possibly can before then. Hello, my name is Tyler, and I am your Puzzle Master Insider. Welcome to my third video, where today I will be giving you an inside look at the puzzle, Scorpion. Scorpion is one of the original 10 puzzles that Puzzle Master founder, Alan Stein, first produced in his basement in 1991 during the inception of the company. This is video number three in a series I will be calling The Original 10, where I will be introducing you to the very first puzzles from Puzzle Master. This includes the puzzles Heartbreaker, Handcuffs, Iron Maiden, A Puzzle, Lion's Lair, The Rack, Wedding Vows, Cowboy's Hobble, Fantastic Five, and today's feature, Scorpion. Scorpion is a wire puzzle made from 3mm or 1 8 inch thick nickel plated steel wire with four nickel plated rings, two wooden red painted beads, and a black nylon rope. Unlike the Cowboy's Hobble from video one and Fantastic Five from video two, which were both level nine, the Scorpion is a level seven on Puzzle Master's difficulty rating scale, which runs from five to 10. Scorpion is also very similar in both name, design, and solution to the Scorpion Sting a level 10 puzzle in the Puzzle Master wire line. The only difference between the two puzzles is that the Scorpion Sting loops the rope around the frame twice instead of once like the Scorpion. This causes the puzzle to be much more difficult. It is amazing how one little change creates such a drastic difference. The objective of the Scorpion is to remove the nickel plated ring. The mechanics of the solution itself are a simplified version of the solution to Fantastic Five. Below is a link to the video if you would like to watch it. Next, I will show you the solution. If you aren't interested in seeing this, then please stop the video here. Three, two, one, zero. Now for the solution, you want to hold the frame sideways like this. The first thing you'll do is put the ring that you're taking off up onto the frame like that. And now you'll notice when it's hanging that there is one rope that comes through the top. You want to take that top rope, put the ring from that rope through the frame. It should leave you with one bead hanging on there. You'll take that rope ring, put it onto the rope down here. Again, grab that ring and put it up through the frame over the bead and off. Now to get it back to that first position, you can take the ring out of here and put it down. And that's how you take the ring off. Now to put it back on, you just essentially want to do everything in reverse. So you'll take that top top ring again, our top rope, put it through the frame and down, grab your ring, put it over the bead, through the frame and onto the rope. Then grab the ring, put it up onto the frame, take the ring without the bead and put it through the top and you're back on. The Scorpion Puzzle is available at PuzzleMaster.ca. That wraps up video 3 of 10 in the original 10 video series. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, or follow us on Instagram. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a very puzzling week.